Hong Kong superstar Jackie Chung is back in Singapore for five more shows from tomorrow. And this is part of his Jackie Chung 60 plus concert tour. Well, the 62 year old is dubbed one of the heavenly kings of Kento pop and a career that spans more than four decades. The upcoming Singapore events come just after sellout concerts this month. The star has been working with a Singaporean music director for these. Go King Long is with us in the studio. Now, very quickly, before we start this, I asked you what a musical director does. And my very basic understanding is what you do is he wants to sing, but you need to make his singing relevant to a concert. So you make it visual, make it impactful. How did you get this job as musical director? Okay, first, uh, firstly, thank you for having me here with you and Natalie. Um, I think uh, at the core of it all, um, of course, music is, is the basis of everything. And typically, the artist will, will, in this case, Jackie comes up with, say for example, the rundown, the songs to be uh, sung. And there's a certain concept to it, you know, musical flow, uh, soundscape and everything. Uh, and then um, in this particular tour, we are on six, Jackie 60 Plus. I, I am entrusted with uh, bringing a, a, working with a 53 piece orchestra. And, and hence, uh, it's a lot more daunting in that I have to orchestrate the music. And, 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 and that will go with the flow that's required. Rearrange the songs so that. Um, uh, there will be a nice uh, seamless flow, you know, uh, throughout the two, two hours, two hours, 15 minutes show. And therefore, as a musical director, uh, in this case, I rearranged most of the songs with the help of some other uh, fellow arrangers and, and, and also to, to, to support the visuals that's needed. And yep, so this basically the gist of what I do. Yeah, this, it sounds this like it's a massive uh, production. And uh, just to share a little, we were just chatting earlier mm. about Jackie Chung's songs, and I actually kind of grew up in the 90s. You know, I'm listening to his song, Wen Pia, being like, you know, one of, the, one of his hits that <laughs> we used to sing at the you know, karaoke bars and things. So you have already done a number of shows with Jackie, right? I mean, with the, in Macau and all mm. of that. Tell us, what is he like as a person? You know, is he a slave driver? I mean, or, you know, is he somebody that is very easy to work with? Well, um, I've worked with him since uh, late 90s on his uh, album productions. We arranged, I've arranged quite a few of his, his uh, album songs. Uh, hence, that's a pretty good kickoff to the working relationship slash chemistry that we've established over the years. Uh, Jackie is quite the ultimate uh, uh, discipline, focus uh, artist. That I've, a perfectionist. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think that's that's pretty much sum up where he is, you know. And hence, I I find it's it's um. It rubs it rubs on me, you know, like because he's so dedicated. You know, for example, the moment I finish an arrangement, I I send it to him via mail or whatever. V within Five minutes, ten minutes, he'll reply wherever he is, whatever he's doing, he'll stop and then listen and then your feedback and everything. So I, I find uh, it's been a breeze in that sense, working with someone so professional. But by uh, that same mm -hmm. uh, reasoning, should there be disagreement, mm -hmm. it's not trivial. He will have very clear ideas and disciplined ideas mm -hmm. why this does not work. Mm -hmm. And you, your job, you take it from a different point of view. You say, well, I know this is how you feel as a singer, but I need you to look and, and the flow has to work. This doesn't work. When you disagree, mm. does that happen often and how does that resolve itself? Um, I think, you know, with, with regards to music, um, it's, sometimes it's pretty difficult to both agree that this is, say for example, you want this song to sound a little bit red. Your red, your shade of red mm. is different from my shade of red, you know. But having said that, I think also because of the many years of relationship and work, having worked so closely together, it has helped me understand him a bit better. And also he knows what to ask of me, mm. you know. And, and, and as a result, no doubt we have, uh, I have my struggles and he has his struggles telling me, oh, you know, maybe you, you, you have not gotten to 70% of what I want. I'll give you a good example. There's one, one particular song in this, this, this tour. I did 11 renditions of it. Wow. 
Okay, but you know what? I think uh, we 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 I choose my battle, and I think for for Jackie, you know, irony of it all is when I finished that eleventh version that he was so happy about. I, I celebrated <laughs> more so than you know. Yeah, mm. it was like. Quite a big satisfaction. You know? Yeah, it sounds like you have this um, um, this connection and this understanding, yes. you know, with each other, mm. and that's why you've worked with him for uh, so many years. And uh, correct me if if I'm wrong, but but you've mentioned before that your Mandarin is not great. Mm. Is that right? And I'm wondering um, in that kind of a scenario and for you to thrive in, you know, all these countries and in, in whether it's in Hong Kong and in, in, in China, mm. how do you manage just just you know, continuing having this job, you know, for so many years? Truth be told, the start was extremely rough. Um, but, you know, I'm thankful that uh, many artists I work with uh, along the way, all these 20, 30 years, they speak good English and that helped me a lot. However, a lot of the musicians and music people, record companies and everything, like what you mentioned from Taipei, from Hong Kong, from, from especially China, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's either Mandarin or nothing. Uh, I I you know we 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 it's been so long. So I would say conversational Mandarin and Cantonese. I I think I've done really okay. Did you have to take uh, extra courses? You know, like lessons at night. I don't know extra. No, I, I I I I didn't do that. Yeah, but like I said, you know, I I. I Sleepless night dealing with musicians. I'm being asked you know, about you know questions about music and everything, and slowly but surely you learn, you know. And and I'm very very thankful. Uh, maybe if I may add, above and beyond all, um, my manager, my boss, and if my wife, my wife, <laughs> Ting Ting, she speaks and writes excellent Mandarin, <laughs> and and hence, uh, yeah. I'm alive. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Well, well, Ting Ting. Ting Ting is the woman you should be thanking your career, <laughs> yes, for uh, your career. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, thank you uh, so very much uh, for being here with us, uh, for staying up so late and joining us in this uh, interview. Thank you. And we were just uh, sharing the stage there with uh, Go King Long, who's the music director for the Jackie Chung 60 Plus Concert Tour.